Hello friends, this is Pratik Sana here from Alt News. We are starting a new series of videos called Anyone Can Fact Check. The attempt here is to show how easy it is to fact check some day-to-day -day misinformation and why everyone should do it. You know, we are living in a world that is filled with misinformation. There's misinformation every single day. And it is essential that more and more of us know these basic skills, which often take just 10 seconds to fact check an image or a video. So uh, we're going to bring regular videos, hopefully a few videos a week, where we show how we fact check things at Alt News. So let's get started with uh, some of the things that are viral today. Um, now, one of the images uh, that is viral today is uh, one which shows uh, a woman being disrobed and it is being claimed that this is happening in Bengal. Now, some of you might have seen this image in the past because it has been viral in the past in different contexts. Um, but this is how you would go about fact checking this. Now, I have opened this tweet in Google Chrome. Um, uh, you could do the same thing in Firefox as well and I'll show you how to. But let's start with uh, Google Chrome because that is what most people have. So what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this image and click on the search Google for image. Now, when I click on search Google for image, what it does is something called reverse image search. It searches against the database of images that Google has indexed. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, in the same image if it has found in other articles or videos and things like that. Now, uh, again, what I did was I did a right click and search Google for image. Okay. So uh, what I see is um, uh, multiple articles. Uh, one is of Yahoo Finance article. I'm going to open that. And I see the same image. Uh, it is an article dated 11 February 2019 with the title No Muslim Leader Did Not Disrobe a Dalit Woman. Okay. Uh, so it was also viral in 2019 claiming a Muslim leader is dis disrobing a Dalit woman. Now, is that the truth of the image? No, it is not. It is actually a scene from a movie called uh, Aurat Khilona Nahi. That's a Bhojpuri movie released in 2014. And um, uh, this article has also given a, a YouTube video of the movie. Now, I'm going to quickly jump to 2 minutes 11 seconds, 57, 2, 11, 57. And one second. So the, this is the same woman. And you can see that the same two people uh, that are there in this movie can also be seen in this image and the claim that this image represents something that has happened in Bengal is absolutely false. Now that is how easy it was to fact check something. Uh, this article has also been written by Alt News. Um, if you go to the Alt News handle, um, you'll see that the article has been written in both Hindi as well as in English. Um, and uh, to be able to fact check something like this, it takes just 10 seconds. So again, everybody should do it. Now, uh, let's go to the second image. Again, uh, if you see both these images, they are being circulated with the hashtag stand with Bengal Hindus. Um, if you look at this hashtag, uh, you'll see that multiple images are being circulated and some of them are false. Um, now, here again, it has been claimed that, uh, you know, this is violence against Hindus in Bengal by, uh, by Muslims. Um, now, what I'm going to do is, again, the same thing. Right click on the image, okay, and click on search Google for image. That's it. And uh, I see this article from a website called newsin.asia. Okay, I'm going to open this article. And I see the same image as um, in the tweet. And this claims that this is actually violence from Bangladesh, um, 2016. And again, the same image. Um, now, what I'll do is I'll right click and I'll do another search. And why I'm doing that is because this is a clearer version than this. See, this is a slightly blurry version. 
and this is a clear version and when you we typically do that we look for a clear version of the image and then search for it again do a reverse search again because that gives better quality results so i'm going to do that and uh, let's see what we get so here i get a, another article from dailymail.co.uk now this was not there in the previous search and that is why we you know sometimes do this double reverse image search that is find a clearer version of the image and then do a reverse search again so here again you see this image and again daily mills daily mail says that you know this is from bangladesh uh, and this is actually from 2013 okay um, now if you still want to confirm whether this is from bangladesh or not uh, you can go further so for example at the back you see the shop called zia carpet um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to google.com slash images okay and look for Zia carpet I'm putting this into double quotes because when you put things into double quotes in Google or in other different search engines you get an exact search so I'm going to look for Zia carpet in Bangladesh and here I get another image Okay, and you see the same shop Zia carpet and you see that it's in Dhaka. I think there's another image that is available here. Um, let's see. Let's also look up Zia carpet and Dhaka. Okay, now that we know that it is in Dhaka. And so there's Zia carpet Dhaka. Uh, here, another image of Zia carpet Dhaka. So this place is indeed in Bangladesh while it is being claimed here in this tweet that this is what represents things that are happening in West Bengal. Now, that is how easy it is to fact check. And uh, these are the skills that if you learn, you should pass on to other people so that people are able to fact check things easily. Now, I said this is also possible on Firefox. Um, yes, indeed. So I have the same image open on Firefox. Now here you don't have the search Google for image um, uh, Um, option but uh, what you can do is you can install an extension called search by image so I already have it installed I'm going to remove it I'm going to add it again and uh, once you add this you get uh, this uh, if you right click you get the search by image where you can now uh, search in Google and other reverse image search engines. Google is not the only reverse image search engine. And uh, the same extension can be installed in Chrome as well. So again, I have it installed. I'm going to remove it. And uh, uh, you can add it again. So when you install it, again you get the same thing where you can use other reverse image search engines um, I'll demonstrate how to use other reverse search image engines uh, using other examples um, but that's it for today and uh, we will keep bringing these videos again uh, this is Pratik Sina here from Alt News uh, keep supporting Alt News and thank you thank you for watching this video